Howdy, this is Chris Paul of the Rowlett Community Emergency Response Team. When you think of events that can devastate a community, you usually think of tornadoes, floods, or a terrorist event. What people don't think of is influenza. And right now, we are in the depths of the flu season in the United States. What is seasonal influenza, or the flu? Seasonal influenza, the flu, is caused by influenza viruses which infect the respiratory tract. Unlike many other viral respiratory infections, such as the common cold, the flu can cause severe illness and life-threatening complications in many people. It is estimated that in the United States, each year on average, five to 20% of the population gets the flu and more than 200,000 people are hospitalized from seasonal flu-related complications. Flu seasons are unpredictable and can be severe. Some people, such as older people, young children, pregnant women, and people with certain health conditions are at a higher risk for serious flu. As always, the best way to prevent seasonal flu is by getting a flu vaccination each year. Flu vaccines protect against the influenza viruses that research indicates will be the most common during the upcoming season. Everyone six months and older should get vaccinated against the flu every year. Get vaccinated soon after vaccine becomes available in your community, ideally by October. Immunity sets in about two weeks after vaccination. What are the symptoms of the flu? The flu can cause mild to severe illness and at times can lead to death. The flu is different from a cold. The flu usually comes on suddenly some of the symptoms may include fever or feeling feverish with chills, a cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle and body aches, headaches, fatigue or tiredness, and some people may have vomiting and diarrhea, although this is more common in children than adults. Three steps to prevent the flu. First, get a flu vaccine. This is the first and most important step to protect against flu viruses. There are many local outlets to obtain inexpensive vaccinations or see your doctor. Second, take simple precautions to limit your exposure to the virus. Try to avoid close contact with sick people. If you're sick with flu-like illness, CDC recommends that you stay home for at least 24 hours after your fever is gone except to get medical care or for other necessities. Your fever should be gone without the use of fever-reducing medicine. And while sick, limit contact with others as much as possible to keep from infecting them. Cover your nose and mouth with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, and throw the tissue in the trash after you use it. Wash your hands often with soap and water. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Germs spread this way. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects that may be contaminated with germs like the flu. And lastly, use antiviral drugs if your doctor prescribes them. If you get the flu, antiviral drugs can treat your illness. Antiviral drugs are different from antibiotics. They are prescription medicines, pills, liquid, or an inhaled powder, and they're not available over the counter. Antiviral drugs can also make your illness milder and shorten the time you are sick. They may also prevent serious flu complications. For more information on influenza prevention and treatment, the Center for Disease Control offers a wealth of information at cdc.gov, as well as flu.gov. Take a few simple steps to take care of yourself, your family, and your community by doing your part to prevent the spread of influenza. This is Chris Paul of the Rowlett Community Emergency Response Team, and I'll see you again next month.